Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to start this off by <laughs> apologizing. Uh, my garage is a mess. I uh, hope I'm not the only one whose garage looks like this. And anybody who's got a pool table, I'm sure it does collect a lot of junk. So anyways, uh, I'm doing a quick little review of my 2011 Trek Cobia. It's a Gary Fisher design. Um, I bought it brand new uh, about a year ago, and I've kind of you know, upgraded it here and there. Uh, still got a few things that I'm looking at, but uh, we'll start at the front of the bike, I guess. Um, of course, the the tires are the first upgrade that you have to do. Uh, those Bontrager tires are pretty terrible. Um, I've gone through uh, the Kenda Small Block 8, some Mag Maxxis igniters, um, and now I've got the Racing Ralphs on here uh, by Schwalb. I absolutely love these tires. Um, I'm down in Texas. We've got quite a bit of uh, of loose hard pack, uh, you name it. it. No, no mud really where I ride. Uh, lots of rocks. Um, you really, it's just a a, a dry, all around dry uh, trail set up around here in my my hometown but anyways uh, these racing routes really do a fantastic job of, of holding the turns and I, I get plenty of grip with that rear tire um, one of them just reverts one of them just mounts uh, reverse uh, tread pattern so uh, anyways it, it works out really well um, aside from that I have recently added the uh, Crank Brothers Cobalt 3 riser bar. Um, I have not trimmed it down yet. I've kind of been debating on whether or not I want to do that. Um, I know I've got my other one around here somewhere. Uh, anyways, the... Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Here's the original bar. And you can see the difference in... I mean, we're talking two inches on each side. And this is the way my bar came from stock, you know, from the bike shop. So um, I'm, I'm actually starting to enjoy this longer bar. I can really get a hold of the the, the bike better. Uh, I managed to, to keep it on the trail a lot more, and I got a little bit better control of it. I can crank a lot harder with it, too, um, and not feel like I'm uh, just losing it, you know. But... Uh, other than that, I've got some uh, some nice lock-on grips. Um, I have not upgraded the derailers or the brakes yet. That's going to be my next expenditure. Um, they are pretty high dollar, of course. I'm going to probably upgrade to at least an X9 derailer system, if not the XO. Uh, and I'm going to do front and rear the same, and I'll do the, the, the clickers too. Um, as far as the hydraulic brakes go, the ones that come on this bike are okay. I mean, they're they're entry level hydraulic brakes, but um, I, uh, I I I'm interested to see what some better quality ones really feel like. Um, I bought a temporary stem that's on here right now. Uh, my bike shop had this. He he basically took this off another bike and let me borrow it. Um, it's uh, I wanted to see what it was like to get a shorter stem in here. It comes, this bike is a 17 and a half inch, and so the stem that comes on it is actually uh, a 90 millimeter. This is a 60 millimeter, so um, I'm, I'm really happy with the, the size that I've got here. Um, I did have to add uh, a few, or an extra spacer in there, but I went ahead and went to the carbon fiber because it was, you know, not much more expensive, and I figure if I'm going to just get one piece, I might as well just get them all done. Um, all right, next. Of course, everybody's got to have a little frame pump. Uh, I like the little design, or however you say it. Uh, it works really well, and it's nice in emergencies. Um, I've got a few more parts on the way right now, including a, a headset. This is the original Bontrager that came on it. I hate it. Um, I've got a, a Cane Creek. Um, the 110 series, uh, zero stack is what it's called. It's on the way, not cheap. Um, and I've also got another, um, seat post clamp coming. I don't like the, 
the bond tracker stuff. I just want to get rid of all of it. Um, I'm pretty embarrassed by it, to be honest with you. Um, I did go with the uh, Crank Brothers Cobalt 3 uh, seat post as well. Right now, I've got my old Kona road bike seat. It actually came on that Kona that's hanging up right there. Um, it's a, uh, it's, it's just something to get by. I've got a much better seat that I usually ride with, but that seat post is for standard seven mil, uh, seven mil, I don't know, bars or whatever you want to call those underneath the seat post or underneath the seat. Um, and the ones that came on this are oversized, so they're what seven by nine, I think is what they're called. Um, but this seat is the one that I've, I have been riding. I love it, um, and it will go back on here as soon as I can get the adapter for this Crank Brothers seat post. Um, let's see. I've also got the Mallet Two Crank Brothers on here. I was riding an egg beater for a while. Um, but I wanted something that I could actually take my foot out of the clip if necessary and uh, and still get good traction. I know these are downhill pedals, uh, but they are really fantastic. These little set screws that you can you can back out, you can get quite a bit of traction just with those. Um, and these pedals are really, really great so far. I haven't had any problems. Uh, with that being said, the uh, speaking of problems... <laughs> The X7s. Uh, I've had them for about a year. Uh, that rear derailleur right there is probably the lowest quality that I would spend money on. Um, if I'm upgrading anything, I wouldn't go anything less than that. Uh, it's a it's a decent quality, but you do have a little bit of play in it. The X9 is going to be a little bit better and doesn't have as much play. Um, other than that, that's all I've done. Um, I've got some new skewers that are on the way. For my wheels, um, uh, let's see. Ah, these shoes. That's what I wanted to look at. Okay. I also got these. Uh, they're five tens. Uh, they're the uh, Greg Menards. They uh, they of course have that removable section down here where you can add the cleat if you want. You don't have to run them like this if you just want to run flats on on a normal, uh, you know platform pedal or whatever you can uh, but I absolutely love these shoes they're comfortable I can walk in them uh, w without being worried about damaging that cleat um, so when it comes to like driving myself out to my trail system and all that I mean I, I, I wear these pretty much like normal shoes um, they are a little difficult to get out of this pedal specifically and I believe that's because I've backed these set screws out so far um, I'm gonna try to to screw those in a little bit and see if it's any easier for me to get out because um, I did have a stupid fall today where I just you know one of those where you pull up and you just can't manage to get that foot out in time and you end up falling over and bruising up your elbows um, other than that um, there's many more changes to come like I said that that uh, I'm in, I'm excited to get my new headset in, and uh, we'll see how everything goes. But uh, my opinion of the the Trek Cobia is that it's a a pretty fantastic bike for the price. I mean, you pay about eleven hundred dollars brand new for it, uh, but it comes with the with the it's just a single air fork, uh, but it's it's good quality. I mean, it really does do the job. It's a hundred millimeters of travel. Um, and it's adjustable, so it, it, that's nice. Um, I wish it came with a fork pump. I had to go buy my own, which those are you know twenty five dollars or so, and that's kind of stupid to 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 sell a a bike without the actual pump that you need to uh, adjust it. Um, you hate to you know you don't want to go to a bike shop every time you're gonna adjust your your front end. So, anyways, um, other than that. Uh, that's all I've got to say for now. I will post another video here shortly whenever I get my other parts and they should be in in another few weeks or so. Um, I, oh, that, the stem that I have ordered is actually the Crank Brothers Cobalt 3 as well. Uh, but they didn't have, the place I ordered it from didn't have the short one like this. All I could get was an 80. So it's going to be a little bit longer, but it'll match a little better and should look pretty good, but... 
uh, I guess that's all for now. Um, you know, post your comments. Thanks. I appreciate it.